celebrated industrialist and former Tata Sons chairman Ratan Tata is revered not just in India but around the globe. 84-year-old Tata is respected for his business acumen and humility alike and even the world's richest man Elon Musk admires him. The 51-year-old Tesla, SpaceX and Twitter boss believes that Tata is a gentleman and a scholar. In an old interview, the richest billionaire had fondly called Ratan Tata a gentleman and a scholar when asked to share his views on Tata Motors and what the company is doing in India. Musk, in a 2009 interview with Charlie Rose, talked about Tata and his idea of introducing a low-cost car in the Indian market, the Nano Car. The host mentioned Tata Motors and what the company is doing in India, on which Musk, who is the CEO of electric car company Tesla, shared that he is well aware about Ratan Tata. Take for a moment Ratan Tata, what he's doing in India, developing a little sedan for $2,300. Where do you put that in the whole equation of where the future of cars is? Rose asked Musk. Musk admired Tata's idea to provide affordable cars in his response but added that he had his own doubts about its future. I think it's a good idea to have affordable cars, but I think the problem with something like the Nano, I wouldn't say problem because I think, by the way, it is probably a great idea and Ratan is a gentleman and scholar, Musk said. What Musk said on Nano? Shifting on to his views on the Nano, the billionaire said the car could become a problem in the future owing to the increases in the fuel prices. But where it's going to become challenging in the future is when price of gasoline rises, the cost of acquiring the car is much less of an issue than the cost of running the car, he had said. Musk's far-sightedness could be applauded here as the Tata Nano is no longer being made. It got discontinued in 2019 due to a deep in demand. Earlier this year, Ratan Tata had shared his motivation for making the Nano. What really motivated me, and sparked a desire to produce such a vehicle, was constantly seeing Indian families on scooters, maybe the child sandwich between the mother and father, riding to wherever they were going, often on slippery roads. At first, we were trying to figure out how to make two-wheelers safer. The doodles became four wheels, no windows, no doors, just a basic dune buggy but I finally decided it should be a car. The Nano was always meant for all our people, he had said.